to my dearest. Red, white, and royal blue. From the moment I encountered you, I felt a surge of emotions. Your eloquent combination of romantic comedy, politics, and international intrigue is a masterstroke that elevates you beyond mere entertainment. Inspired by a groundbreaking LGBTQIA 2S plus novel of the same name, you weave narrative threads, cultural intricacies, and a vibrant emotional palette into a masterpiece. The intoxicating love story of Alex and Prince Henry, amidst a political and media frenzy, is like a modern fairy tale. Their love, pure, yet forbidden, raises the stakes not just for them, but for their nations. It is not merely a flirtation, but an international affair, where romance becomes diplomacy, and passion meets tradition. But you, you are so much more than a love story, you are a philosophical text with flesh and bone, delving into the vast territories of forbidden romance, sexual identity, individual expression, and the intersectionality of politics. You balance duty and desire, as if questioning the fabric of humanity's conflicting impulses. Your thematic depth is like a rich tapestry, each thread adds unique color, but contributes to a coherent and mesmerizing whole. Taylor Zahar Perez, who steps into the role of Alex Claremont Diaz, is not just an actor, but a maestro of emotions. Each smirk and wisecrack, each casual disdain he holds for the world, is a mask, a defiant posture against his vulnerabilities. He embodies both insolence, and a deep yearning for approval, moving my heart like a well-played symphony. Nicholas Galitzine, who portrayed Prince Henry Hanover Stuart Fox, resonates with a rare kind of beauty, born from restraint, nuance, and a keen understanding of what it means to be caught between two worlds. You present Henry as someone trapped by centuries of tradition, a soul yearning to soar free, yet chained by the gilded cage of his royal birthright. Together, Taylor and Nicholas have given performances that do more than entertain, they enrich, elevate, and etch themselves into the very fabric of what makes you an unforgettable experience. For that, you both have my undying admiration. Let us not forget the beautiful cast that supports these stars, Sarah Shahi's fiery Zara Bankston, Clifton Collins Jr.'s light-hearted Senator Oscar Diaz, and the regal gravitas of Stephen Fry's King James III. Lastly, as Ellen Claremont, the matronly epitome of power and compassion, Uma Thurman lends the tale a distinguished quality. Matthew Lopez, the maestro behind the curtains, orchestrates your story in a way that lets love steal the limelight in its purest form. You have carved out the spaces where love and chemistry between Alex and Henry can flourish naturally, defying the artifice that often drowns rom-coms. On the other hand, the screenplay by Lopez and Ted Millar dances between brilliance and forced conveniences, but even the criticisms serve a purpose. They magnify the authentic beauty in the genuine moments of your story, especially as it crescendos into its soul-stirring climax. The dialogues are like a mixed bouquet, some flowers for their beauty, some for their fragrance, but all serve storytelling's greater purpose. As a descendant of Casey McQuiston's literary triumph, you pay homage to your ancestry, while daring to claim your space. You have had to let go of some characters and plot points, due to the limitations of filmic storytelling, but you have retained your origin soul and ethos. Christina Hetherington, along with Nick Moore, though I wish the pacing had let me linger a bit longer, in the emotional landscapes you introduced me to, your inventive editing techniques, particularly in portraying modern digital communication, are awe-inspiring. You are like visual poetry that speaks the language of a new era of love and connection. Stephen Goldblatt, your cinematography imbues your world with the warm, golden glow of eternal sunset, a perpetual magic hour, where love seems eternally possible, even if sometimes the visual poetry could be more precise. Yet, each frame feels like a sincere confession, an honest piece of a larger, captivating picture. Drum and lace, your score, and the pulsating heartbeat of your narrative are captivating. With a mix of modern rhythms and timeless classics, like the euphoric Don't Stop Me Now by Queen, the music is both a seductive whisper and a bold declaration. It guides us through the labyrinth of emotions, capturing the essence of being young, in love, and alive. The world has received you with open arms, applauding your courage, diversity, and relentless optimism. Yes, there are critics, 
those who find fault in your vitality, but the love you have received, overwhelmingly drowns out the dissenting voices. You have touched hearts, shifted perspectives, and perhaps even changed lives. One may think that a series could dive more in depth, but what you have accomplished is already fantastic. In a world often too cynical for its own good, you stand as a beacon of what could be, what should be. You defy conventions and shout from rooftops that sometimes, idealism needs to win, that hearts must be allowed to love freely, and that perhaps we should all dare to live our most authentic selves, even if it is just for a fleeting moment of cinematic magic. Sincerely. Style Cinephile.